This video is going to be showing you how to add a font awesome icon in the menu. So obviously make sure you're logged in. And I should update some stuff in here, but this is a local uh, environment and I'm not going to update. Uh, so I'm going to go over to my appearance, go to menus. To have these menu items, I'm going to go ahead and just remove a couple of them. It's a little cleaner. And I want to go over here to custom links. Another thing that you're probably going to want to is up here in screen options. Make sure that you have your CSS classes added. And what that's going to do, just so you can see, obviously it's not here. I check here and now I can actually apply some classes to things too. So if you wanted to apply a specific class like a color um, or something to the font awesome icon, you can do that pretty easily. So, but let's just call it, um, let's hit uh, custom link. We're going to call it um, twitter.com slash a Ryman. And the link is it's actually interesting. There's actual no text in here. Um, we're going to use a font awesome icon and the I here. Normally, uh, way back when, I used to stand for italicize. Um, now I think they've hijacked it. Now it just maybe it means uh, icon, but whatever. Uh, we're going to give it a specific class but we want to use the FA for font awesome class and that will tell it to call in the correct font which is font awesome and then we want to tell it which icon we want to use and I'm going to Google um, font awesome icons make sure I'm using the right one and Go down here, we can search our icons. You can grab you know, any one you want. I'm going to specifically look for Twitter. So we have a couple different options. The Twitter icon, the one you know, squared, and so just those two. I'm going to click on that, and this shows you what you need to put in there. So fa dash Twitter square make sure we have a space in here super important so we hit add to menu and you're actually just gonna see the markup I think yeah you'll see the I uh, tag there we hit save we're gonna go over here to the front end Oops me to click there. Um, go to the front end. And there's my icon. So you can also apply a class. Go back. There we go. Let's just call it um, Beaver Builder. I always want to prefix things where they kind of make sense. So this is my Beaver Builder test site. So I'll just do BBT, um, which is also a bank. But anyway, um, BBT um, icon and then Twitter. And so now we hit save and notice by default this is not a refreshed page so you won't have that class that I just applied you'll just see the normal classes but we refresh in here and you will see that our class is being applied to that LI so we have 
class and then the bbt dash icon dash twitter so we can go in to the customizer if we want it's a couple different places you can actually put the css uh, but with wordpress i think 4.6 and higher we have a css uh, box basically Not sure what my computer is doing. Too much. Okay, so additional stuff. So we can go here. It was an LI, and we want to apply this class. And now we can target that one specifically, and we can make it color. I don't know the Twitter color. Um, I'm just going to use blue. Oh, you know what? We actually be more specific. We need to tell it the A tag in there. That is an I. There we go. So notice that happened immediately. So we wanted the class that we created um, or applied is only the LI. So you have to make sure that you're doing the A tag and then the I tag within there. So that makes it a very ugly color but shows you how to change it and I'm going to hit save and publish all right now we have a Twitter icon in our menu and then we can actually do you know any any font awesome icon um, and we know that because let's actually go ahead and show you how to know if you have font awesome loaded if I do a I can just actually search for font actually I'm going to search for awesome so beaver builder by default calls in font awesome and it looks like the newest version too 